Hello, beer shippers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of Hoppers today, checking out some more awesome beer from Omnipoyo. And this time it's a collab that they did with Sichovec in the Czech Republic. Uh, this is brewed at Sichovec's facility. So technically it's actually an Omnipoyo collab so, or a yeah, Sichovec making Sichovec making a collab with Omnipoyo. But yeah, this one I'm really excited by. I got this sent from uh, Henok from Omnipoyo. So thanks like on to Henok for the beer. And this is the Sichuan and Omnipoyo Winter Affair Gossip, a quadruple decocted Czech Pilsner, Svetli Lechak. 5.1% alcohol. And yeah, so what they did with this is instead of just doing like a double decoction or a single decoction that they often do with lighter beers, they decided to do a quadruple decoction to really amplify the malt character of this beer. So yeah, decoction mashing is very common in the Czech Republic. Uh, most German breweries do step mashing, but some are also still uh, doing uh, decoction mashing. It kind of varies from brewer to brewer and what you believe in. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, you don't need decoction. You can just use melanoidin and step mash. Melanoidin is a type of malt or melanoidin rich malt. Uh, but I think there's something to uh, decoction. You get some very nice complexities. So quad quadruple decocted, that sounds really nice. So pours a slightly hazy golden yellow color in the glass, fairly fresh beer as well. This is from February and we're in April now. And uh, yeah, it just looks gorgeous. I mean, it doesn't look like it's gonna be a really rich malty beer, just holding it up to the light because it's quite yellow. It does have a little bit of a golden hue. It looks more golden on camera. But it looks really nice and the frothy head that pulled out also looked dope. Let's check out the aroma on this one. Wow, really rich malt character on this one. Almost like, it's almost like slightly, uh, there's something in here that reminds me a bit of rice porridge and cinnamon for some re weird reason. Yeah, there's almost like cinnamon to it, like a spicy warming thing. We are below loads of bready malt, like hefty, hefty, bready, bready maltiness, crackery malt. It smells like really rich for like a pills, chick pills. And there's definitely also some hops at play, like a, probably a classic sauce hop or something. It's like slightly spicy, slightly grassy, and, but it's like soft. It's like really heavy on fresh, almost like juicy maltiness. It smells really nice. Yeah, I mean, this smells banging. The last Czech beer, I, I was recently in Hamburg with Betsy Brewing. We just started selling beer in Germany and we had an event at Beyond Beer and I had tank fresh Pilsner Urkel that was two days old. This smells better than that. <laughs> this is two months old. <laughs> I think Pilsner Urkel is pretty good, but this, this, it doesn't have to ask at all. That's maybe also a big part of it. it smells good, let's try it. Cheers, thanks to Henrik for the beer. Okay, surprisingly much more hoppy on the palate. That's really good, Czech Pilsner. And I said, like, this might be one of my favorite beers we have at the moment. And I can see why. Like, if you're in love of lagers, wow. Much higher bitterness. That weird cinnamon note was only in the aroma. There's just something that reminds me of Riesenkohl, which is what we have in Denmark for Christmas time. The rice porridge, and then you sprinkle it with cinnamon, and you put a knob of butter on top as well. But... I don't know why. There's just something that reminded me of that. It was totally not on the palate. The maltiness is really, really rich. Much more rich in a, than in a classic pills. It's like this heavy, almost like, like it's doughy as well and crackery a little bit, but like it's almost like, I don't know, like the, a really robust cracker, like a digestives or what you call graham cracker or something like that because it's like much more robust. It's not like often with other pilsners, it's almost like a little bit like a saltine without the salt. Whereas this is like much more robust. It doesn't go all the way into like the countryside bread loaves and all that, like you get in some Franconian beers, which I think is because they also use some Munich malts and stuff like that in their beers. Whereas this is probably, I'd imagine pure pilsner malt, like a Czech floor malted, floor malted pilsner malt. Uh, probably Mora Mor Moravian malt. Because that's the cool thing you can do with the coxin mashing. You can taste it the lighter malt that's been amplified and made more robust. And that's really what I'm getting here. Loads of spice as well. Very black pepper heavy on the palate uh, in terms of hoppiness. Nice dry finish, nice dry bitterness. Like it is so robust 
and powerfully tasting, but still crazy drinkable. Um, I think like quadruple decoction for a pill is, is something that works well, actually, but I'd love to see that in a stronger style beer, like in a double block or in a darker beer, like the Czech dark lagers. It would be really fun to see it in beers like that where you really use a lot of different malts and heavier malts and whatnot, or heavier, richer malts, like crystal malts or these kind of Munich malts or something like that. That'd be really fun to see quadruple decocted. But this is a banger. This is fucking dope, Czech Pills. But it's probably the most robust uh, Czech Pilsner I've had in terms of malt character. It's almost like a little bit got a similar robustness of like Franconian Lager beer. Uh, just that I think those are maybe a little bit more Munich malt, like they're more bready and not like this kind of almost like whole grain cracker and. And like doughy feel. I don't know the dough is. Yeah, it's all I guess like a whole grain dough. It just feels very whole grain, whole meal uh, like because of the decoction meshing. But never too much. And there's still some light lightness about it as well, which is really nice. Fucking great pills. Um, and it's not too sweet either, which is awesome. I think I've had a couple Citrovac beers, but I don't think I've ever reviewed any on the channel come to think of it, but this is a great start. Also love like the bitterness, it, it has a drying bitter snap that is, it fades quickly, so it's not too bitter either. Like it's really well balanced too. And I think the bitterness is pretty essential as well when you have uh, this much malt flavor. Really, really good. Uh, quite a different beer than Tipo Pasta. Tipo Pasta is much more hoppy and bright compared to this. And I think I preferred that one just a little bit actually just because I love hobby lagers. This is also hoppy, but that one had more like a fruitiness going on and zestiness and all this. Whereas this is a very spicy and very uh, grassy and like a little bit herbaceous too. It's very, it's very, very like what I think of when I think like sauce hops. It might not be sauce hops, but it's just what, what it reminds me of. But then also like sauce, it depends on crop and stuff like that. As with all hops, not all hops always taste as, you know, the tasting notes. There's different things, like the general tasting notes at least. There's different things depending on the crop. And no diacetyl, which is fantastic. I'm not a big fan of the sweet, diacetyl sweet kind of chick lager beers. Uh, yeah, love this collab. Uh, in terms of grade, Omnipoyo and Citrovex uh, Winter Affair Gossip Quad Decocted Pilsner. This was a series of collabs called Winter Affair Gossip, by the way. Which is really, really cool. Really, really good check pills. It's I like I know I can't really completely compare to a dry hop pills like um, Tipo Pasta, but although that was very silly with that, it was just so freaking banging. I think this is just a, a couple notches below, but it's still really damn good. So like ninety two, something like that. I think really damn good pills. Really great check pills. Uh, but I also think I've had check pilsners I preferred a little bit more. Like Milatsky's you know, Eleven, for example, is one of my all time favorite check pilsners. Uh, that is a, such a dope beer. Th this is also really good, but it's just like a little bit more malty, malty a little bit more robust, uh, which is nice too. If you're into more malty beers and malty pilsners, I think you'll really enjoy this. And it's definitely got more hop character than some, you know, more industrial examples of Czech pilsner. Uh, but yeah, really nice. So if you guys have a chance to try Omnipoyo and Citrix Winter Affair Gossip Quad Decocted Pilsner. Let me know what you thought of it. And as always, with the comment, subscribe to the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up, join and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm going to say cheers and thanks to Hanak for the beer. And see you guys in the beer review.